Hello everyone, this is Captain Adelvin. Um, and, okay, so it looks like the stream is working, okay. It's having some weird problems with Twitch, I think. That's alright. Um, we are back with the Dendi Dynasty. It's been a while since I was doing this last, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, the sink's being loud for some reason, but whatever. Alright, where were we? Uh, I think we were just waiting around. Kind of managing our realm a bit. Not that exciting, but, you know, it's part of the game. Still got a bunch of troops and cow. We're upgrading our training grounds. That's right, that'll be really nice when that's done. Still not very many troops, and this looks. I think I think we just captured this. Yeah, these these two are recent. Well, I guess this isn't that recent. This is though. Um, my marshal? No, wait. This guy's terrible. Yes, I don't care. Get rid of him. Why is that guy my marshal? Yeah, I have plenty of good marshals. What the heck? <laughs> That's strange. Okay. Apparently I had my Chancellor improving relations over here. That's right, with Farbus Bunkanu. Let's check out how the Umayyads are doing. Still got this really old um, syphilitic sultan with plenty of decadence. But everyone loves him. Alright, we can get some new mil more military organization. I really like military organization because that lets you get more retinues. Yeah, we can, we can get um, more retinues. Our cultural retinue is free warriors. There. Let me see, 400 line infantry and 100 archers. Hmm. Not very expensive to create. Probably more expensive to reinforce. They're not that great. I mean, let me see. 380 usage. They're... I don't know, it's, it's a lot of troops for that amount of cap usage, I guess, but uh, I'll hold off on buying retinues. Yeah, it looks like the light skirmish retinue is actually better than our than our special retinue. Actually, well, I think they have like a special attribute, but I'm not sure if that's worth it. Um, who needs to educate this kid? How about You. Alright. Who am I voting for? I don't remember. Probably. Actually, I can check. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, voting for one of our dukes so that he likes us. Or one of our dukes, I think it's our only duke. No, sorry. No, I also got that guy. But... Alright, my wife's pregnant, that's good. More prestige. Thank you for the prestige. And so that this doesn't get too dull, we'll just look around the... Oh, oh someone's trying to kill me. Stop. Let me see. All right, Poland. Look at that. Poland's united. King Chukisko Piast. Still Slavic religion. Um, Karlings are still in control of East Francia. Bavaria's breaking up. Let me see. Is this East Francian revolt? He's not going to do very well. He's only got one county revolting against the whole kingdom. Thanks for him. Let's see. 
The Magyars and Hungary are two separate kingdoms, but the Magyars only have two counties, so they're pretty much worthless. Hungary's pr doing pretty well. Yeah, I've got a good, nice, nice little kingdom. Oh, look at that. Rus has absorbed Kiev and most of its kingdom. Most of its rightful kingdom. The humans. Uh, I've got a revolt, but it doesn't look too bad. Alright, our training grounds are done. Let's build some more stuff. We're going to build everything here so that um don't have to worry about losing the county when we are upon succession. Um, more prestige, thank you. Thank you very much. Once we get 600 prestige, I'll go ahead and build a weaponsmith here. That'll give us better training grounds and yeah, better training grounds when we upgrade to a castle. That's very useful because training grounds are amazing. Right, daughter, that's nice. Thank you. We can get someone to educate her and like us better. <sighs> it's a shame to see that the Christians are not doing a very good job of uh, taking land from the Umayyads. What really needs to happen is they, these two guys need to get an alliance, because I think they should be allied to Cantabria, and yeah, they're both the same dynasty. They should try to get an alliance with the king of Aquitaine, and then try to, you know, take the Umayyads in a holy war. It'd be really tough for them to do that. Hmm. Who are they fighting right now? Nobody. Okay. Just a bunch of raiders. <laughs> Well, if the raiders do a good job, then that'll that'll work. They can deplete his levies. Oh, I didn't notice. It's a new new sultan, and let's see how his vassals like him. Ugh, they still all like him. Why? Why do they all like him? It's so annoying. Oh no, they don't. Oh no, that's the opinion of me. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so this guy, Nasrid Emirate, that's Seville. Emirate of Seville. Okay. What we're going to do is sow descent. Mm, will it work? I think it will if we sow descent right there. Hmm. We'll try that. Try to get some of this guy's vassals to hate him. So that would be the most convenient thing. Gosh, Muslims have so many children. Although, who am I to talk, really? <laughs> I'm actually younger than he is. The Ogle bits are doing okay, that's good, I think. <sighs> we just really need to be able to take this holy site and probably the other two holy sites. If we can do that. Um, yes, give her 15 gold. But yeah, if we can get the holy sites, then... Oh! <laughs> okay, he's revolting. Well, he, he absolutely... Oh, he's part of the revolt. This revolt, which is... Lowering crown authority, yeah! Lower some crown authority. Sounds good. I'm not sure if they're going to actually be able to do that, but good luck to them. <laughs> Is that really just four counties revolting? No, six. But still, that's like a, a very small fraction of the mines. Well, oh, there's, there's the leader of the revolt. Alright, court chaplain died. What a shame. Um, we could try to get more piety, but I mean, I don't see what the point of that is. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Just because, I mean, I don't think that there's anywhere we have. No, everything's West African. So yeah, just do that. We could try settling our tribe, but I don't really want to. I mean, is it really worth it? I don't think so. No, just 
converting them from Berber to Monde is probably not going to help that much. Incompetent ruler. I'm not incompetent. Who do they think I am? Let's see what's going on. Scotland's doing well. Mer Mercia's doing well. Wessex is doing okay, I guess. Bulgaria is formed. Cool. Good job, King Dan. Probably going to get absorbed back into the Byzantines, but whatever. Good job for now. Georgia. Always doing well. That's, that's pretty cool. It looks like the Abbasids have expanded a little bit. Mercuria broke up. Hmm. Yeah, not much going on other than this revolt over here. Gosh, why is, why is this game so weird about zooming in and out sometimes? Like when you get really far out. I don't know. Are you winning? Uh, no, they're losing. Come on, you can't lose. You have to. Oh! Who are they fighting now? Oh, come on, stop it. What's this? Um, Navarran Holy War for Navarra. Well, the Count of Navarra has declared war on <laughs> the Umayyad Revolt, so that's interesting. Well, um, Godspeed, Count L Luverico. Still haven't converted the culture, that's good. Um is that Thieves Guild? Uh okay. That's nice. Yeah, it's sad that the Umid Revolt's gonna fail. Yep, there they are. At least their levies are kinda depleted. Maybe that'll allow Castile and Asturias to take them on. Probably not. Let's check these guys' levies. Uh, 2,500. Uh, almost 5,000. That's pretty good. Seriously, if they could get, like, one other kingdom, like Aquitaine, they've got, yeah, they've got 6,000. Like, e even West Francia or Burgundy, if they could get one other kingdom to help them, they could probably do a decent job against the Umayyads. Sadly, the Umayyads are not going to stop. I, I really hope they don't attack us. I don't think that they will. But, I mean, if they do, that'll be disastrous. If they take, like, Ghana or Timbuktu, ugh, that would be really bad. <laughs> really bad for us. Oh, the anti-pope in Bavaria has, is no longer the anti-pope. Okay. Now he is just a prince bishop again. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh wow, look at Turkestan. Gosh. Getting destroyed by revolts. Hmm. Look, Finland! It's Finland. Oh, it's the Jarldom of Finland. But it's most of Finland, so... I mean, that's like a good... <coughs> a good, uh... At least a third of the kingdom that they've conquered. They're probably not going to get the rest, because it's all controlled by Rus and Svithshad and Norgir. But oh well. Poor Finland. At least they don't have to worry about getting invaded, really. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder... I wonder how Rus got control of the High Chiefdom of Estonia. 
Because, hmm. I mean, if they tried invading actual Finland, that, that I know that doesn't end well as Russia. I mean, it d didn't work well in real life, and whenever I try it in the game, it doesn't work well, so, yeah. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh, he raised some warriors, and he's not going to use them. Good job. I'll try hiring a free warrior right now. Just because I can actually support it. Yeah. Um random courier? Sure. Don't care. Uh gain beauty. Yeah, I'll gain the beauty, because, I mean, it, it, it could just cause problems if, if I don't, if I don't choose that option. Alright, children lack guardians. Relations go! Actually, I should probably, like, try to, try to get, um, try to get them some good traits and stuff. Yeah, the marshal can teach them some good traits. Trusting, gregarious, zealous, charitable, ambitious. Well, most of those are good traits. Plus he's quick and he's a brilliant strategist. So yeah, I want some good uh, military military dudes. And then about some good learning for that daughter. Some good intrigue for this daughter. Yeah. Sounds good. Also, some more good intrigue. Yeah, that works. There we go. <coughs> that way, I'll have some good spy masters and court chaplains and marshals in the future, probably. Hey, better reinforce my right, that's good. Alright, how much does this guy like me? It's gone down a lot. Well, not that much, but a decent amount. And I'm not gonna get much, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get much out of sowing descent, so... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is good. I, I mean, I knew that this was going to involve some... Some patience. I didn't expect didn't expect this. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, marry this marry that that girl. She's got great stats. She's in the canaries, so yeah, marry her. Bring her to my court. There we go. Now she's in my court. No. Stop. End your plot. Please. Please don't do this. Um, she already likes me most, but whatever, I don't care. What? I don't know. I don't know what was going on there, but I don't really care. So we've got our little retinue here. Oh, daughter of age. Let's see if we can get her to matrilineally, uh, matrilineally marry anyone useful. Apparently not. These guys will give me. Or there's some guys from the Canaries, yeah. Uh. I don't know, I don't really see anyone good for her to marry. What kind of alliances can we get? Probably none. Mm. 
Hmm. No, it doesn't look doesn't look very promising. Guess we'll just try to get an alliance with the canaries. Cause why not? Uh, but then I lose a bunch of prestige. Or do I? No, I don't. I don't. No, I yeah, I, I would lose prestige. Yeah, so no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not losing prestige. Are you crazy? Um, should I really have my daughter marry my cousin? Then I won't lose prestige, so I'll actually gain prestige, so yeah. <laughs> Just because I'd gain prestige. Okay, and I have enough prestige to make a weaponsmith now. Alright, good. Married. Oh, the kingdom of the Magyars is gone. What a shame. What a shame. Bohemia is alright. You go, Bohemia. Hmm. Well, really? There, there are two one-duchy kingdoms over here? Bohemia and Moravia are separate kingdoms. Wow. That's impressive. Sweden took over Prussia. We've got Denzig and Yavjag. Sweden's doing well. Norway is collapsing to revolts. Uh, peasant revolt? That's annoying. Let's, let's raise our troops. Let's just raise all of our troops. Um, I think I'll... yeah, these these are retinues, I think, so they'll stay here. I want them to keep recuperating, because it's expensive to retrain them. Oh my gosh. Why are you so bad? Maybe I should lower the tribal organization. It'll make my vassals like me more. And it'll make them be called to war, which is probably better than than being um It's probably better than them giving me levies. So the levies are pitiful. And I'm pretty sure that I've already, since I've already raised their levies, I keep them. Go ahead and arrive, please. Is it taking you so long? There we go. And kill. Sitting there, my army should definitely be an option like an EU4. You can not have people attached to your army. It would be very convenient. Not much is changing in Europe. Whoa, okay, that's changing. Sweden took over a bunch of land down here. How did they get all this land? Did they, did I just not notice them conquering it, or what? Or did, and, and Norway, did they reform the faith or something? So if they reformed the faith, then they get holy wars. No, they couldn't have reformed the faith. Mm, no, no. 
that's not possible. Okay. So, maybe they invaded. Okay. Oh well. Why does she hate me so much? Former lover, ambitious... Trashing. Just because she's ambitious too, that's so annoying. Title claim it. Because she has claims on one of my titles or something, that's so stupid. <sighs> oh, we can go ahead and finish the war. Peasant Revolt is over. Um. Banish him for 1.7 gold. It's nice. Alright. Come on, get back. As soon as these guys arrive in our lands, we can disband them. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Who's this? Um, some kid. He's quick. That's good. Give him to our marshal. Alright, there we go. That, that was just a quick little peasant revolt. Peasant unrest. Don't know why that's there. Alright, finally he's improving this guy's opinion of us. Born to my son. So I've got a grandson. Good. I mean, I probably have plenty of grandchildren. Uh, I mean, our chancellor doesn't like us anyway. Is he gone? Where is he? Is he actually in prison? Yeah. I'll release him. Oh, I said, I said, oh, the, the, no, that's banished. But, I mean, he's not that great anyway, and that's a lot of money. Yeah, banish him. Sweet. So much money. Oh, yes. Now we've got a better Chancellor. Hooray! Who hopefully won't get the same event. Um, let me see. Much of this guy liking me is due to improved relations. 90? Wow. This guy also likes me. Are there any of my vassals that don't like me? That matter? No, not really. Okay. I guess you can sow some dissent in the Umayyads. Let me check them out. This guy's vassals like him way too much. The Emir of Tangier probably is the easiest to convert, but Fadil, the careless. Mm. No, he likes him too much. Why do all of his vassals have to like him? Doesn't make any sense. They all like him. relations with this guy, because I know that sowing descent is not going to get us anywhere. some of our retinue troops. That's good. We've got an independent, random independent 
Sheik over here. Alright. Apparently the, Ab the Abbasids and Aquabids are both... One, one second. Yay, you got diligent. He's not stuttering. He's the heir to the Sheikdom of Zarma. It's good. The Tulanids are being eaten by the Abbasids and Aquabids. Curia got Elodia back. Or not Elodia, Nobatia. Yeah, right there. Hmm. That looks fun. Very fun revolts to deal with for Abyssinia. Oh, Bankanu is dead. My uncle. So now my cousin is in charge. Um, give him some honor, some nice honorary titles. It's inherited blood. Whoa. Interesting. Enemy. Forbidden to wed. Forsaken blood. Loyalist. Ninja. What the heck? What is all this stuff? I don't know what all that stuff is. Oh, I might have left one of my mods on that I was using a while ago, just like for fun. I probably did. Whoops. Oh yeah. Whatever. I won't I won't use anything related to the mod and it won't affect my gameplay at all, so it's okay. It's okay. Uh-oh. Low lower tribal organization. I can't. Sorry. Okay, yeah, if we get this guy some... Oh, we need to choose an heir. Let's choose this guy. Yeah, you're our heir. That'll make him like us more. Plus 50, I think. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Random kid. It's not. It's not a bad character. It's got decent stats. that. Russia's consolidating a bit of its land. Looks like it's taken a bit more over here and over there. Right, good! My, my, um, my, uh, chance was actually doing something useful. My weaponsmith is just finishing. It's just, you know, another year. Hey, our reign becomes Monde. That's cool. It's very, very good. Very good. Actually, no, this is going to be done in over a year. Not, not too much of it. Yeah, basically a year. Give plus point one. Oh, cool. We got some religious zealots. Wow, that's actually a lot. No. Well, some of those are my, some of those are my um retinue, but. The rest of them, yeah, it's 600. It's, it's, it's a decent amount. So, yeah, our retinue is 500 soldiers. It's alright. It's 500 soldiers we would not have otherwise. Marshal Heron, um, yes, more, more tech. I love more technology. It's wonderful. Technology is wonderful. Count Ordono, the Liberator. Count of Na Nahera. Nahera, something like that. Well, apparently a peasant revolt took two counties from the Umayyads, so that's cool. I hope Castile eats those. Or at least one of them. 
Uh, we can get some more. We could get castle infrastructure. We could get town infrastructure. I don't think any of these matter at all. So we'll get some more construction. So that lowers build cost and bit build time. We could probably get some stuff from our temple. That could that could give us more money. I don't. Okay. I don't. Yeah, we can't upgrade it. So maybe we should have gotten improved keeps. Yeah. Now that I think about it, we should have gotten improved keeps. I'm smart. That's okay. It's okay. All right. So let's assess our abilities to take on the Umaya. So we could. We are total potential right now is 2100 plus 500 that's 2600 plus 2250 which is comes out to about you know somewhere around 4000 uh 4800 I think yeah somewhere around there so we can get almost almost 5000 troops plus our vassals so probably around somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 troops on our side against the Umayyads. They have uh, 20,000 troops, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to fight them anytime soon. Just really hoping for someone else to come up and beat up the Umayyads, but there's no one to do that. This isn't EU4 where massive rebellions and um, coalitions and stuff can take people who are blobbing down. Uh, no. No, you can't. You can't have that. I, I don't remember who just came of age. Okay, this guy came of age. We need to get him a wife. Hopefully a good wife with great stats. Right? Um, she's already in our court. Someone, someone not in our court, pre preferably. Someone we can bring in to add good traits to our line. Hmm. Could try her. She's got... Uh, not really. Not nothing good. There was... Uh, just, just a little girl. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get we'll betroth him to this girl. Cause she's got the strong trait. Doesn't affect us, prestige wise, so it's okay. Probably won't work out very well. The betrothals in this game seem to be broken, but that's okay. We'll be all right. I don't know why this guy controls so much land outside of this county, but whatever. Daughter of age, probably no men to marry to, but whatever. We'll just f try to find something. Try to find something. You know what? You can bring in this guy with tons of traits. <laughs> uh, he's got good marshal. So yeah, a good general to bring into the um into the court. Anyone outside of our realm other than that? Nope. Just trying to bring people into our realm, so yeah, that guy. Get, get us some prestige. That's nice. Good. Good. So another good general in our court. So like if we wanted to staff this with, with generals, yeah, look at this. Look at that. He's our second best general. Having good generals is always a good thing. Hey, Igil has converted to Monday. Monday culture. So now there's just one one county in our realm that's not the right culture. I wonder if that increases like the levy or the tax or anything. Probably doesn't, but whatever. Why did Italy get this province? Eh, it doesn't matter. 
Hmm, looks like revolts are tearing up. Uh, Nor Norager. And these guys are getting invaded by... Flanders? Duke the Duke of Flanders. So this guy is invading Sweden. They're not doing anything about it. He's the only person they're fighting. Apparently Sweden is getting beaten by the Duke of Flanders. Because that makes sense. He's got... Oh, wow. Wow, the Duke of Flanders is really strong. He's got 11,000 troops. Was not expecting that. He only has seven counties. Or just one, two, three, four, five, six counties. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's six. Shouldn't Sweden have more than that? Especially since they're... No? Even though they're tribal, they only have 8,800. Good job, Flanders. Take, take out that Sweden. Uh oh, my nephew, my. <sighs> no! S can we kill him? I, I need to plot to kill him. Offer to join war? Wait. No, no, where's he going? He's got a claim on Rus? Yes! Yes, good luck with that. He's going. He's invading Rus. I kid you not. He's my nephew. He used to be my court chaplain, and he's invading Rus. That's amazing. Just incredible. Now I need a new court chaplain. Alright, you'll do. Build Zeal, I guess. Nothing else to do. Yeah. I joined your war. Hope you're happy about that. So, how many troops does this guy have? He has... 6,000. Well, my nephew. His host is... 2,600. Um, I'm not marching my armies all the way up there, so... <laughs> I guess this guy's not gonna succeed. I mean, I could try to help him. But I'm not sure... I'm not really sure it's worth it. Like, what would we get out of it? Nothing. I mean, we'd get a big ally halfway across the world. That is interesting, though. That's a warning. Why would it pass from my realm? Heir to Dondo's host. Okay, that's why. Well, that's... that's interesting. Okay, children need guardians. Yeah, that, that looks fine. Um, any vassals that don't like me? No. No. No, no, we're good. So, yeah, that guy, he looks fine. Whatever. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, our weaponsmith is gonna finish in a few days. I think we can build a war camp, or a practice range or something. Probably a practice range. I don't know. Just have to wait till we get 500 prestige. Where, where's my, my, where's this guy's army? Does it exist? He is nowhere, apparently. In an, unknown, in an unknown location. Where is Dondo's host located? Nowhere. I mean, it's a desert title, but does he not have an army? Um, okay, to Gaza. Oh, are, are they still down here? Apparently, yeah, there, there's his army. They're still all the way down here. So, I mean... Hopefully what'll happen is these guys will be will get will end up getting invaded by someone else. And then like I don't know. Lose lose a bunch of troops. And then my my Whoa. Oh the Kingdom of Finland does exist. Look at look at that. It's all the way over here in Muram. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how they ended up over there, but that's that's cool. That's pretty cool, I guess. 
no, we gotta check this out. Alright. Um, no, do not, do, do not do that, please. So this guy, he is elected. He has just this one county and that one duchy. And same as this guy. I don't know how they got the Kingdom of Finland, but maybe, like, they... What? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Good luck. Oh gosh, they're taking attrition, that's not good. Are they? I don't know. I think it'd be hilarious if he actually managed to win manages to win this somehow. Actually, what's this guy's current levy? I I, I only looked at the total. Forty eight hundred. Eh. Still be able to win. It's a shame. I hope there's some sort of revolt in, in his nation. Poland's taking over parts of Pomerania. Uh, they're gonna provide a pretty big problem for the Christians. The Carlings and stuff. Let's check ch check out the dynasties. Why did I click on cultures there? They're still still dominantly Carling. But predominantly Carling. McAlpins are still doing fine. Yinglings and Nightlings. Duff Moon, so it's all the you know ones you'd expect to be in control of those places. Eh. So this guy's Russian Slavic. That's cool. Havuk Singula is apparently the dynasty in control of the Kingdom of Turkestan. Wait, what? Oh, and Cumania. Okay. Important decision. Raise tribal army. No, I don't think it's worth it. Um, that does mean we have enough prestige to build some stuff. Build a war camp. in Poland. Look at that. He's made it to Poland. He's just walking slowly over to Russia. It's almost there. He's in Poland. Oh boy. Just two counties away. <laughs> we'll, we'll just watch him. It's the, it's the adventures of... The Adventures of what's this guy? Dondo. Not us, Dondo. We're Monza Dondo of Gal. This is Dondo of Dondo's host. All right, another daughter of legal age. Try to bring in a good person who's not located here. Realm, yes. Sort by realm. They're all in my realm. Ugh. Well then, let's try to get alliances with our priests, I guess. You know, it works. Sure. Oh, that would affect me too. No, um... I don't think that's gonna work. Let's work daughter. Is there anyone decent? I mean, I guess we could marry to her, her to our cousin to get prestige, but I don't really know. I 
mean, he, he holds claims, so... Sure. Yeah, that'll give, give us some prestige. Oh, oh, look, look, he's found an army. And he is not gonna kill it. Look at that. It's just gonna sit on Minsk. Um... Sure, whatever. Okay. Uh, if I were him, I would not sit on Minsk. I would go, like, kill his army, but that's just me. It can't be his whole army, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Don, though. There goes his army. Yeah, I don't really want to go help him, so whatever. Child Dean's a guardian. Um yeah, make him like me more. really isn't very interesting. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, he lost. It happens when you, when you go for crazy stuff like that. I don't see why Castile isn't, isn't like, trying to conquer this. They, oh, it's that's part of the Kingdom of Navarra, really? Or, oops. Oh, yeah, it is. Hmm. Thought it would be part of Castile. And maybe, I guess, they don't want to take it because that would be a holy war. Um, well, actually, Aquitaine is, is going on a holy war for, for Barcelona. Oh! Oh, it's the Umayyads against Aquitaine. Let me see. How's this war going? Alright, it's Lancaster, Lotharingia, Mer Mercia, uh, Aquitaine attacking against Umayyads, Aquabids, and Nayera. Well, go, go, Aquitaine, take that land, please. Who's winning? No, the Umayyads are winning. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, why do the Umayyads have to win? Well, half of their army is gone, but they're still probably going to win. If these, if, if these guys would attack at the same time, or get an alliance with this guy, or something like that. But no, it's not going to work out. Or if you could get France to join. If you could get France to join, that's... They're almost as strong as you might. It's... Yeah. Darn it. How does he have such a high... Total levy? It's crazy. It just keeps growing. It's not taking any land, it just... Somehow keeps growing his levies. Doesn't make any sense. Anyone with good traits? Uh, quick. Uh, anyone? Nope. Could marry Safiatu. Uh, I don't know. There's no, no one useful. There, do that. Alright.
Okay, so... It's been a somewhat interesting experience for our standards, because not much happens down here. So, yeah, I guess it's a pretty good place to call it an episode. We got to see Aquitaine failing to attack the Umayyads, uh, our nephew failing to attack Rus, and, you know, a bunch of looking around the map to see what's going on. So, Umayyads are still scary, like extremely scary. And yeah, that's that. Alright, so I guess that'll be enough for today. I'll see you guys next time. This is Captain Adelvin, signing off.